These five forgotten low requirements money makers can seriously make you some bank. Every money maker in this video is going to be amazing for new players who are completely new to RuneScape or players who are rebuilding from absolute scratch. Without further ado, drop a like on this video if you do enjoy and let's get into it. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have heard about collecting toad legs, but what if I told you there was a 2.0 version of this that makes you even more money? Yes, that's correct. You can collect the king worms that are right next to the toad legs and make double the profit that you currently can. Right now, king worms are selling for about 700 GP on the grand exchange, and the volume on them is actually twice as much as the swamp toads. I collected king worms for 10 minutes and ended up with 100 king worms, which currently will sell for about 64k. I thought the king worms would sell for 790 GP each, but they ended up selling for 619 GP each, meaning that this moneymaker currently makes about 370k per hour. Really good for a no requirements moneymaker. Believe it or not though, this is not the best moneymaker in this video, so let's hop over to the next method to see how much we can make. The second low requirement moneymaker I stumbled on is also amazing, and that is going to be buying bolts of cloth from the sawmill vendor in the woodcutting guild. Now, currently right now, bolts of cloth are going for about 950 GP on the grand exchange, but they buy from the sawmill vendor at only 650 GP, meaning for every bolt you buy, you're actually getting 300 GP profit. Anyway, we were able to collect 416 bolts of cloth in just 10 minutes, meaning that in an hour, you can expect to get around 2,500 bolts of cloth. Now, while this moneymaker does not have a stat requirement, it does have a slight money requirement. I would recommend having at least 500k before attempting to do this. That way, you can actually buy enough bolts of cloth to make it worth your time. All of the bolts of cloth have sold for 990 GP each, meaning if we were to do this for a full hour, we would be making 880k an hour. Now, that is some serious bank. It is still not our best moneymaker though, so let's move on to the next one. The next low requirement moneymaker, which is absolutely OP right now, is collecting bandit brews from the bandit camp in the desert. Now, for this one, you're going to need the Anakra's Lament quest complete for the Camulet, or you're actually going to need a Draymond staff so you can use fairy rings. What this moneymaker consists of is having a stamina potion and some starter cash in your inventory, going to the bandit camp, buying a full stock of bandit brews, and then banking them to sell later on the grand exchange. Currently, right now, the bandit brews are going for about 3k on the grand exchange, so we're going to see if we can sell it for that price in this video. I collected bandit brews for 10 minutes and I got about 150 of them, meaning if you were to do this for a full hour, you would end up with 900 bandit brews, which you would need about 500k starting cash to actually buy. I've been slowly selling these bandit brews for 4.5k each, but I think it's a little bit unrealistic to assume that we'll sell the whole supply for this, so I'm going to go ahead and dump them on the grand exchange and see how much they sell for. Here we go, selling them for 1.5k each, and they all instantly sold, and we got 255k from that, meaning they sold for about 1,827 each. That is looking like a really strong profit. Overall, in 10 minutes, we ended up making 221k just from collecting bandit brews, which means after an hour of doing this, we would end up making 1.3 mil an hour, which is absolutely insane. This next moneymaker is super simple and you can do it while bank standing and that is going to be cutting leaping sturgeons to make caviar. Now the way you do this is buy leaping sturgeons from the grand exchange. Currently they're going for about 60 GP each. We'll load up on these and cut them for about 10 minutes. I do want to get this video out though so I'm going to instant buy the leaping sturgeons which cost us about 100 GP each. On the current market, we can sell the caviar for about 220 GP each, meaning for every sturgeon we actually end up cutting, we will be making a profit of around 120 GP. After about 10 minutes, I ended up with 486 caviar, so I'm going to list it on the Grand Exchange for 190 each and see if it sells. We got 102k from selling the caviar. 
if we remove the cost of the fish that we cut, we actually ended up with a 62k profit in 10 minutes, which means if you were to do this for an hour, you could expect about 372k, which really is not too bad for another no requirements moneymaker. Now, this last moneymaker is one of my personal favorites because you can also do it bank standing, and I made a lot of my early cash by doing this method, and that is going to be making Ranar potions unfinished. All you need to do is buy some Ranar weed and buy some vials of water, and with 33 herb lore, you can end up making these unfinished potions and sell them back to the Grand Exchange for quite a good profit. I ended up making 400 unfinished Ranar potions in 6 minutes and 35 seconds, which means at this rate, you can make about 3,500 unfinished Ranar potions per hour. Looks like we made about 70k in profit in 6 minutes and 35 seconds, which means after an hour, 420k per hour on this. This one is really good because you can sell these back instantly and make money quickly. So 400k an hour just for sitting at the Grand Exchange making some easy potions. Really can't ask for better than that. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video of 5 low requirement money makers that you can abuse right now. If you guys did enjoy this one, be sure to drop a like and let me know in the comments what other good money makers I ended up missing. I'm sure there's a lot of good ones that I could have included in this video that I just don't know about. Anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.